Are we live now or we are just... live, yeah. Yo, hello mom. What's up? <laughs> Chat. I I don't think your mom's watching the stream. I'll I'll tell her you said hi though. She's I she's she's she, over she, here. She's asleep, but yeah, yeah, she's yeah, she's on my bed right now. Yeah, I'll I'll tell her when she wakes up. <laughs> 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 okay. <Fuck you. laughs> so Hubert, the first question of the gauntlet of questions. Are you ready? Hubert Moltzka, game director of SAP Secret Laboratory. Yeah, I'm just gonna say yes so we can oh. we can we can finish it earlier. Okay, good. How will people download the public beta for Secret Lab that hits in less than forty eight hours from now? More than likely we will have a beta on Steam. Okay. Uh so people just have to go to Steam and select public beta. And we will most likely also have a version on Discord. Um so yeah. Okay. So uh, you'll just so for the, the Steam the Steam beta, you'd right click the game, go to properties, and then the, the beta section, you would just make sure it's it's like Parabellum update or whatever it says there. It's most likely just going to be on Steam, yeah. Just like the first version of SL published on Steam, like it just showed on the on stream. It's going to be uh, below that okay perfect so that's 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 most probable the other scenario is that it's just on discord and also probable that it's going to be on both discord and and and, and steam we haven't decided yet but most likely it's just going to be on steam okay cool so it's like 99 percent it'll definitely be on steam and then there's a small chance like it'll also 90, be on 90 percent on steam five percent on discord and five percent on both steam and discord <laughs> okay okay perfect fair enough um, okay, good. So that's simple. And then, uh, do you guys have any general plans for new SCPs in the future? A either items or playable or whatever. Are you talking about new SCPs or SCP rework? New SCPs for now. The rework is another question. Um, no real plans. Okay. I mean, you will more likely see an SCP item than a new playable SCP because we would like to rework the currently existing playable SCPs. Okay. Uh, we're quite happy with the current SCP items, especially after the inventory rework. They're pretty good. Um, so yeah, you don't have to worry about reworks of the non-playable SCPs now, maybe except for 914. Uh, but, well, playable SCPs will get a rework first and then we will move on to adding new ones. Okay, so potentially the vending machine in entrance zone 294 where you could get a, a cup of cum? Um, well, that would be interesting, but <laughs> no, that, there, there are no real plans on any new SCP items. You know, we will probably want to bring back 330 on Halloween. Ooh, okay, nice. People, but, yeah. people loved that. That wasn't controversial in the slightest. That was all around no, great times. Though if we wanted to make it a permanent solution, then more than likely uh, pink candy won't explode. Or <sighs> if it explodes, it won't be as powerful as it used to. So it just won't be fun. I get it. I see. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And then uh, in the most recent update for this beta, you guys introduced not only the 079 uh, tweak, but also the new layout, the new five new layouts for entrance zone because you have the new three-way. Do you guys plan on adding any new rooms similar to that in heavy or light containment or even more stuff in entrance like more additional offices or things like that the reason we added the freeway intersection was because the old entrance zone was missing it which uh made entrance zone mostly empty hallways yep adding the freeway intersection allowed us to make it more compact and also less exploitative ex exploitive exploit exploitative how to pronounce that yeah, yeah, yeah. probably that so you can <laughs> There's not as many clues where to look for the checkpoint. Yeah. Like the, the previous crossings, like the, the four-way intersections that were most popular in yeah. the old entrance zone, there's only like one or two of them spawning per layout now. So Yeah. Yeah, there's like, I think to... two layouts will spawn. Two of the five layouts will spawn with a four-way. The rest just don't even have them, which is wild. Yeah. All right, cool. So, and then nothing yet on, on like heavy containment or entrance zone on like any new rooms potentially to add? Uh, sorry, let's go to Pink. Could you repeat that? Any, any new or any upcoming new rooms for entrance zone or heavy containment, like maybe different versions of hallways or new, you know, just uh, item rooms in general? 
Technically, the addition of freeway intersection wasn't even an addition. It was just yeah. enabling it. Uh, we reused one of the container breach assets, which already was in the game, but it wasn't like enabled. It wasn't spawning. Mm. Uh, we haven't actually made any new rooms. We just say activated one, slightly adjusted it to uh, to have the camera to the you know the 079 cameras and the new lighting systems, so it can be properly toggled by 079 but other than that we didn't really do anything new we just enabled an old feature uh, because freeway used to be in the game before the new map generation um came in so it was in the game in like 2017 i guess uh, but um uh no there are currently no plans to add any rooms in 11.0 okay fair enough and then what about a surface zone update when is when is the big surface zone update going to come out it's it's a difficult question and we haven't decided yet literally in uh like three days on sunday we are going to have a death hits meeting on which we will decide when uh or actually what's going to happen in 12.0 oh. And, well, one of the ideas on the list is the surface zone, though I'm not sure if that's really what we want to do. It mm. all depends if we have the resources and everything. You see, when we're making decision, what's what should be the main feature? We're trying to adjust features. So different departments, namely art department, audio department, programming, can finish their jobs, their job, can finish their tasks at relatively the same task, uh, relatively the same time. Yeah. Now the guns we work and one seven threes we work. We already have the assets for one seven three, so it requires almost like virtually no art assets, like just for the UI and other things. But other than that, one seven three had mostly the the assets were mostly complete. And while art was working on the new weapons, we had time to work on the new inventory and one seven three. So. This is the reason why 173 and Guns we work were on the one update so we can complete our tasks and mm -hmm. uh, like without one team waiting for another. That makes sense. And that's so that's also why we have yet to see the sex update because it's so demanding on the art team. Yeah. The mechanics. <laughs> yeah, I see. Okay. So uh, that I mean <laughs> if you replace sex with surface zone, then you're probably right because surface zone will require virtually no coding because, yeah. well, there are no special features. It's just going to take a lot of art assets. So if we decide to make um, surface zone the next up, like we don't have any programming task that would take as long for the programming to complete. Uh, to like end in a similar time frame as the art assets for the surface zone, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like it's hard to find a task that will take exactly the same for the programming team as the surface zone is going to take. Uh, well, the artists to make. Yeah. So it's kind of looking at you've got these different tasks. Art, you know, the surface zone remake. It would take a hundred effort from the art team and only three effort from the programming team. So the yeah, balance isn't the quite there. Updates. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah. Exactly so much 3d modeling well, re rendering the huge boobs takes a while the physics yeah the jiggle physics yeah that's true that's true so that eliminates like 90 percent of the remaining questions a lot of it the sex update related uh good to know good to know what about the this is actually this is one that's related so in earlier versions of the game you may remember this there were uh sort of the, there was the d girl right uh and sort of s like hints of a customization uh, system. What uh, what might be some plans for that? Are there any in the future? Uh, not presently. I okay. mean, maybe some customization, like not a major one. We're not actually thinking about changing the whole skins, but it all depends. But well, um, probably having some paid cosmetics for well hats or whatever oh. I'm, not, I'm not literal right now there are no real <laughs> there are no real plans for that but i'm just saying that well there is a possibility of adding some minor customization system where you can change your uh d-class beanies <laughs> i don't know different different boobs for the class <laughs> <laughs> it should be the only the only cosmetic item we could change is the hat and so there's like eight thousand different hats and then like maybe one alternative <laughs> model for everything else 
<laughs> Fair enough. What about here's another good one. So do you guys have any plans for uh you know a lot of all of the SCPs really focus on a, a melee system in the game? Uh and then you don't really have any melee capabilities for human classes. Do you guys have any plans on adding, you know, being able to melee as a human or revamping at all the, the melee system that's currently in the game or SCPs? No. Nothing? And by saying no, I don't mean that we don't have plans. We have, quite the opposite, we have decided that it is not happening. Oh. So it's just like what you've got with melee, uh, you know, you don't want the humans to melee, like whatsoever, and then you're, yep. you, like, you're happy with how the SCP hit registry works for, like, zombies and stuff? No, well, I'm not happy with how the hit registration system works with zombies because it's terrible right now at like, okay. like 19 and everything <laughs> okay, being on a high ping. <laughs> yeah. But we're not adding a melee system for humans. Okay. At least not in the nearest future. There are no plans, and I'm, I would really, uh, really prefer to avoid that system having it. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. It could definitely. Uh, it could definitely throw off the balance and the flow of the game. It's just not really what's what's going for, basically, right? Mm, yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah. Fair enough. It would affect the balance of the game, not really in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then here's another one. So th this is a few questions sort of lumped into one, but, you know, this recent little patch as well, we saw that 939 was given uh, AHP. That now makes it the third SCP to uh to get the this ahp system what what was your guys's intention on giving 939 basically all that happened was he got this uh you know this hume shield for 600 points do you guys plan on slowly working toward every scp getting this feature and then are you trying to flesh out what 939 is supposed to be with this new edition well definitely not all scps i think we all agree that 106 shouldn't have ahp <laughs> um well, I think 939 was one of the SCPs that needs the Hume Shield the most, even more than 096 and 173, in my opinion, because 939 is a huge target, meaning that people can effectively hip fire at 939 from like even long distances. Mm. You can shoot and, 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 and shoot it. It's a huge target. And 939... Well, we, we, we have two options. We can either keep increasing its base health until it has like 10,000 HP and essentially become <laughs> a huge sponge on bullets yeah. and being virtu virtually indestructible. Or we can just add some AHP and 939 can actually sneak and know where to attack and not be just a tank, but rather a, I don't know, assassin, I guess. Okay. A reptile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more of a... That, that's what I was sort of telling Chad is it seems like you guys are trying to get 939 to a state of being more of a, a hit and run kind of class where you could go in, take a little bit of shots, bounce out, but not be too much the focus of attention for combat, right? Yeah. Notice that 600 AHP it's very, is... It's the lowest. Yeah. It is it is low. However, it is approximately how much you can effectively damage 939 uh, with a single magazine. So oh. if you are charging a single class... Uh, a single player, you will take virtually no damage if you can do that quickly. Interesting. If you give them time to reload and shoot you again, then you will get more. But well, 600 is about a, a number that if if if, if player manages to dump the entire magazine on you perfectly, you will lose a um, a few hundred HP. Yeah. But like like 100 or 200. But that's it. Interesting. Well, fair enough. Okay. And then let's see. This is basically the SCP question. On in terms of the guns, the guns were the first part of this beta that was, you know, introduced. There are a lot of tweaks throughout throughout the weeks and everything. Are the guns basically where you guys want them to be? Or I know some people kind of complain that pistols aren't too good. Some people say, you know, the shotgun needs needs a bit of a tweak as well. Is it do you guys think that as well, or do you generally feel that the guns are in a good place right now? I would agree with the shotgun. It definitely needs not just a buff, but maybe a small rework of the mechanics. Maybe make it more um, so it has higher spread, uh, but more bullets 
or I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, currently, yeah. the problem is that if you're not hitting people with every all single of your pellet, pellets, yeah, it doesn't do yeah, that. There, it, it doesn't feel like a lot of damage. But on the other hand, if like the shotgun is currently too random, and you can mm. actually kill people with a single shot if some of the pellets hit your head, maybe disabling headshot damage for shotguns could work pretty well. Mm. So, and maybe changing backshot into like not having actual pellets but more like a cone, so there's no bullets simulation, or like the, the bullets are only like symbolical, however the damage calculation, the hit rate, hit rate is entirely based on angle and distance, and like the damage, the bullets are spread the, spread it evenly. I don't know, there, there are a few things how to, there are a few ways how to approach that, and we will keep experimenting with that. For now I'm happy with the, with other, um, well, well, other weapons, other firearms. Okay, so like guns, so like pistols and stuff. No, no intention of any dual wield mechanics anytime soon or anything. Um, sorry, what's that? No, no intention of any like dual wield system anytime soon. Going fucking guns akimbo, big dick in it. Mm, we would rather prefer to keep things on the ground level. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, energy weapons. Will they ever make a comeback? Will they maybe just be skins for uh for the current weapons? Any gun no, patch 2.0? I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't <sighs> I wouldn't I wouldn't implement weapons that look as other weapons. The skins in the game should be rather subtle. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um but we'll see. Like I can <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Marketing is gonna kill me for that, but <laughs> we do consider uh, like the reason we are not changing any rooms right now is that we have a decision to make whether to keep reworking um, individual rooms to just remove the CB assets, or we have a decision to make. We could probably just get rid of the of the entire heavy light entrance zone layout mm -hmm. and probably come up with a completely new layout. Oh. And we could probably have a zone that. Um, uh, well, would would contain micro HID, some like server rooms, like the the R and D and control and, and machinery zone, uh, which would contain uh. some experimental weapons, and maybe then we could see more sci-fi ish weapons as something special. But yeah. Ooh, interesting. So so moving perhaps moving another sort of step away from the CB inspiration and going. You know, there's now a research and development wing, and you know, part of the game takes place in there. Um, yeah, essentially having having different layout, stepping, yeah, just 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 changing the layout entirely. Interesting. So there's no more heavy light and entrance, but well, other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Zones. Interesting. Okay, okay. Interesting. Let's see here. I think there are definitely a few more questions that got rolled into some bigger ones. Uh, let's see. There's one very specific one that one of my mods keeps asking me. It's definitely going to be the last one on the list here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Any plans for remodels for the human models and, you know, those kind of like D-Boys, NTF, that kind of stuff? Uh, and in this case... We're talking about the exact same situation like with the surface zone and sex update. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these are things that mostly require art assets. Mm -hmm. and it's hard to find a counterbalance for other teams to work on. Well, theoretically, I've told you guys about implementing 6A2. Your your guys is you know the programming team could you know be stuck with that for a few months while while the well, art team. Six A2 also requires a model animations, <sighs> probably a containment chamber. I could get in a green suit and I could we could just CGI me in. You know, I got a green screen. We can <laughs> keep it keep it simple for you. We'll figure it out. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll keep bothering you about it behind the scenes. Uh, yeah. So a lot of a lot of it is really just finding out how to economically balance the resources you guys have as a game studio, basically. Yeah, I mean, there's a third factor, which is the amount of people we're going to satisfy, because there's no point in trying to spend a lot of resources um, and money on something that not a lot of people are going to appreciate. I mean... Yeah, true. Uh, it's Many people are going to disagree with me right now. However... 
spicy take. Uh, surface zone and weapons rework take approximately the same amount of effort from the art team. Mm. However, I do believe that Guns Rework is going to satisfy more people than the Surface Zone because it relates to the entire game, it's related to the entire game, uh, and not just one zone. Like, the Surface Zone is still the arrival zone where you just on in and go get to the facility. And true, many people are waiting for the Surface Zone, but it's not that much of a deal when it actually gets implemented to the game. So while many people now could probably decide that they would prefer a Surface Zone rework over the Guns rework, it's really not that much of a refreshment to the game. True, that's a good point. I mean, yeah, Guns are literally at the core of the game, but Surface Zone is, you know, the of all of the zones, it's literally the least impactful zone, essentially. Fair enough. Okay, okay. Let's see, I think... The decision, the decision to make the Surface Zone... Um, rework actually was made like two years ago or something or even more yeah even three years ago and we had completely different reasons to to change the surface and it wasn't just because we wanted to get rid of cb assets back then we thought the game is gonna die soon it was <laughs> just because we thought that uh well surface zone isn't really optimized and it needs rework because of the uh because of the way it's, it's made yeah and like the game was completely different back then and honestly if you if I could take those words back, I probably would. <laughs> I, I do believe that reworking other zones should be a higher priority, but since we have promised to make the surface zone, now <laughs> we need to keep our word, even though... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, it is definitely... It is it is the, you know, one of the last CB assets. It's definitely the single biggest, like, single CB asset, I think. Eventually, it would need to be changed, but yeah, like... When it comes to what next, what other zone surface would be completely and entrance zone, surface and entrance. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Because heavy and 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 uh, light are are both all of all of your guys' assets essentially. Yeah. Mm, that heavy heavy is almost entirely ours, except for 079's room. And um, uh -huh. light is uh, hallways are ours. However, the end rooms like 914, 173 yeah, right. checkpoints, they are their containment. Bridge. so that moves me on to the next question actually is there going to be uh any revamp for 914 at least aesthetically or logically in terms of upgrading stuff or is that you know are you guys pretty happy with it at the current state we are not happy with having any containment breach assets in the game we are actively working to replace them okay. though as you as i just said it's uh, a little bit problematic because now it's still about making the decision whether to change the layouts completely. Like, I guess 914 could be... Uh, we could start working on 914 because no matter what kind of layout we'll end up with, we still want 914 to be in the game. Okay. But, well, again, currently replacing rooms, containment breach rooms, uh, it is kind of on, on hold. We're mostly focusing on replacing the containment breach SCPs. So we're replacing the containment breach assets. Right now, I'm pretty sure after 173, the only CB asset we have is 049, if we're talking about mm -hmm. character models. Yeah. Though 049 is probably not going to be the next SCP to be reworked. It's either going to be 106 or um, or 939. Okay. Mostly because we have the assets. But, yeah. So, okay. So, on the, the next block of, of potential SCP reworks, would potentially be 049 or 106, you said? Yeah, I mean, it's not really a big secret. Like, other SCPs are fine, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people. 049 is kind of like the SCP that you look at every other SCP, and it's like, you know, that guy gets to teleport, that guy gets to shit on people, and I get to raise zombies that instantly kill themselves at fucking Tesla Gate. <laughs> 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 okay, fair enough. Let's see. I think I had, I think, I mean, there's a bunch of questions. There's, you know, chess asking questions. Are Molotovs going to be in the game? Other, you know, incendiary, other grenades. I think it, that's kind of answered from the previous question. Uh, well, for that one, probably no. I mean, you guys just refactored grenades. So unless a gun update um, too is around the I corner. Would, I would actually say a yes. Oh. I mean, smoke grenades and incendiary grenades are now way more feasible than they used to be. Like, the reason we reworked the inventory is to add new items. 
it's not like we are reworking the items and now we have a complete list of items we oh. want to have more grenades like right now we're replacing the old items to show how the system works to test them how the new items are actually working but Ooh. the way the modularity with the new inventory system allows us to add any item we want in the game it's the old scripts were mostly designed to do one specific task only and weren't really good uh, when it comes to extending the system. Mm. So in order to change the firearms, we had to rewrite the entire inventory system <laughs> because Shit. the old inventory wasn't made for the... Uh, wasn't designed for the purposes we needed. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. So, so Molotov, Smokes, Plasmatrons... Any, any item, and I'm literally saying any item is now mm -hmm. possible in the game. Interesting. So this will so, wrap around back to the sex update because we'll definitely yeah okay dildos toys, you know lotions yeah. stuff like yeah, okay yeah, yeah. huge huge holy shit that's actually really dope okay we already have a secret feature that nobody fortunately discovered you can get <laughs> logisters barrel very hot and then you can stick it into 106's butt and it's gonna explode fortunately <laughs> nobody nobody's <laughs> discovered that yet. Jesus the secret ending <laughs> 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 my God <laughs> okay so then. I think um, here's one question I had. Uh, actually, no. Here, th there's one more, and then I'm going to ask a question, and then we'll we'll do a wrap up one. So, Cassie, is is Cassie? I personally uh, think Cassie is great. I didn't even realize this. There are a few people in the community that think, for some reason, Cassie's getting this big overhaul or anything that's going to be soon. Or is that something even in your guys's mind? Or is Cassie? And that system in Cassie, currently in a good place. Uh, please define overhaul. Are you just talking about the Cassie room, or are you talking about the complete overhaul of the system? Uh, overhaul of the system, voice actor. You know how to program stuff to make Cassie no. say things. No, no, Cassie. Cassie will remain. It As will is. still be the same voice actor. Okay. Uh, it it will still work in the same way. However, we are planning to add some word editor which I hope we can put in 11.1 so you can take you can do whatever you, you can create like this is something that we already do <laughs> manually yeah. uh, essentially um, uh, combining words together in order to create a new ones Ooh. wait so are you... having that having that being able to make it in game that would be oh would be really nice. so there's like a room you could go in game and make cassie say amogus as a d-boy you're saying <laughs> no 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 i'm oh. talking about admin oh uh, admin oh okay but now that now that it's been brought up wait hold on a second let me i just got just got from the news desk uh, a file let's uh let's listen to this Cock and bull a sexual activity insulting application of pain to VPs. Okay, so you're saying basically this is going to be the biggest update the game's ever <laughs> fucking had, you're saying? Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Holy shit, that's huge. That's that's huge. <laughs> I should probably ask the voice actor for their permission first. <laughs> yeah, they might be like, why? What? How come? Just curious, Hubert. I gave you guys permission for 20 words. How come the entire B-movie script is on the internet right now? <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, okay. Um, fuck, I think there's another question I had. And uh, I can't find it. So I guess uh, fuck, fuck whoever asked that question. Uh, okay, good. So here's my question for you. And let's just, I, I mean, I'm checking chat. No one, no one from marketing is currently in chat. And I think everyone could keep this on the DL right now. Uh, so you might have known and heard something about a few leaked images that seem to portray maybe, you know, there's a briefcase with the SL, the, the uh, foundation symbol on it, a Jeep, a helicopter, some blurry photos of what looked like a boat that say SCP Icarus and some other stuff. What a what the fuck what is that what do we what I don't do we know I, I don't know what you're talking about oh well let me show you if you're watching the stream right now i'll i'll 
the photos are actually on stream, so you can. <laughs> I am watching. The, yeah. I know so okay, I'm good. Just, so these photos. I know what you're talking about, but yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. So like the it, like this photo on screen of a boat, like this, is what I'm talking about. Like, what is it? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just need to close my windows because I I feel like a sniper rifle is now pointing at me. <laughs> Listen, Voidus is asleep right now. Okay, we're fine. He's he's. I'm not talking. <laughs> we have a few other market mar mar yeah marketing specialists. Oh fuck, you're right. But the reasons the, the reasons are called marketing specialists and not marketing like employees because they're trained to be like best snipers, best best hitmen <laughs> in the world. They're the sole purpose of that team is uh, they're just Voidus' soldiers. They just, you know, watch my house at every angle and just wait for me to leak something to you. So <laughs> Shit. I'll refrain. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, fine. Let's see. Um, oh, let's see. I think this is a good question here. Mm. Will they add fire mode changes? Oh, let's see. Bolts 50 no. pistol make bullet full auto. So no. So, like, make something burst or bolt action or something like that? Bolt action would be possible, but there's no need for fire modes, at least in my opinion. Like, the only reason fire modes exist is just for additional style, I guess, for the game. And it's usually seen in cheaper games. Like, fire modes aren't really necessary, especially if weapons in games fire relatively slowly. Like, yeah. the fire rate of weapons in SL... Is like, I'm not sure if anyone can't just fire one bullet from a pistol. Like, it's you can just click your mouse relatively quickly, and yeah. you're just going to fire one bullet. Like, it don't, I don't really see people complaining that they fire more bullets than they think they are. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. And then, oh, this is actually, this is the question I just remembered. So, as it currently stands, there seems to be this thing where in uh with the new 079 sort of tweak and, and update you've got the three generators they open the door to 079's room and then you break the glass uh which it seems like every player finds out you only have to break the glass you don't even press a button people accidentally recontain cassie uh glitch the server that's never happened to me before though uh it seems like when the nuke goes off when it starts to count down the doors open and stay open for the rest of the match is that yeah that's already fixed Oh, okay, good. Okay, perfect. That's already fixed. Okay, that wasn't intentional. Okay, good to know. No, no. Okay, perfect. And then I think the last question, uh, so I don't, I mean, I don't know how to say this easily without it sounding like I'm saying it. This is just sort of, I guess, the whole community saying this. Uh, so in, in terms of the sex update, uh, why are you so sexy? Wow. I don't know, man. I mean, we need an answer. The people, 120 people need an answer. I don't know, I'm just like that. I can't control it. Sorry, I, I was trying to be less, but it's 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 like stronger than me. I'm sorry. I see. It's physically impossible. I, it's physically impossible. I, I too, I too understand understand that. It's a, it's a curse, really. Not even like a get. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Understandable. Okay. Let's see. Fair enough. Uh, do you want to play Counter Strike with me one day? Sure, I'm gonna smite you. Unless <laughs> we're talking about playing together. I mean, like, I was yeah, I was hoping because I've never uh, I've played Global Offensive for like three minutes before, so I was kind of hoping sure. to play with you, not against you. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure just we can. I'll, just, I'll give you my email. You can just send the invoice for boosting services. <laughs> well, I mean, I. I'll, okay, yeah, I'll get through my marketing team then. I'll see if that's financially viable. Your hours are what, uh, 13 cents an hour? Yeah. Okay, that's actually not bad. I'll t <laughs> that's, that's one ice cream a day. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, I think that's... Oh, a lot of people are asking for 1v1s now. Oh, I'm sorry. That brings up another question. So there's obviously, you know, for, everyone knows the Patreon and everything and and everyone knows there's sort of a stretch goal that you guys want to add is custom games into the game, right? Like, uh, you know, obviously there's there's SCP and there's the whole game that SCP is now, but the the gunplay in the game, especially with the new update, is actually pretty fun. And you've seen like Bullish has been having these huge tournaments and a lot of people like to play things that aren't 
just the containment breach game type. They want to play things like uh, Team Deathmatch or or Capture the Flag or things like that. Do you guys have any, you know, maybe while your guys' art team is going crazy on a Surface update, maybe your programmers are doing some behind the scenes stuff for custom game types? Uh, let me put it this way. The way we designed the new Surface Zone is very much inspired by Counter-Strike Map. While this isn't intentionally made to make the game go feel good on the new weapons, I do believe that having the elevators like locked using some plugins, mm -hmm. it would make a valuable, a valid, oh, I can't even say that, uh, like a good CSGO map. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I remember when we were doing our, our capture the flag stuff, like it's, it's really perfect for something like that. I mean, I'm talking about the new surface, like we are, I, when designing a new surface zone, because oh. we have a, we have a gray box, like oh. already finished like the plans and everything uh i mean it's not official we're just testing different designs and while we were designing it we have realized that csgo maps are coming as a good inspiration i'm not talking about actual replication of some csgo maps yeah. but rather this style of having like a relatively um queer ish maps with uh different like zones different like the whole idea is that you should be like this the map should feel huge but you can check every single corner within a minute, like it is on the on, in CSGO. Interesting. Right? The, the match, matches are like two minutes long, and yeah. you can pretty much change your position multiple times and go anywhere you want. And um, so, yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. So, Dust Three in in will be in in SCPSL basically. Uh, be yeah, like, it'll be the better version of Dust 2, yeah. Okay, okay. More like, more like Nuke 2. I think Nuke is <laughs> thematically, thematically very similar to SCP Foundation. That's actually a good point. I, that's the that's the one where it's like, there's like the some of it's outside, and then... Was that the one where Summit whiffed the grenade, the Molotov, and then he fucking killed himself? Is that Nuke 2? Or Nuke? Is that the map I'm thinking of? I don't play Counter-Strike. Um, I don't play nerd games. Well, I think you're referring to Train oh maybe yeah because there was a train in there okay that's that that makes more sense okay fair I mean, enough what, what i like about nuke and what i what i would like to include in the game is that the playable area is like 20 percent of the actual area like um oh yeah you're searching on on, on nuke what? if you show me any no 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 image. i was sorry some of the, that was that was the virus that no, came out no yeah no csgo the, the, nuke the, yeah no, I, actually I actually <laughs> actually show that show that on stream i'm gonna show you something interesting yeah uh open like uh yeah like uh oh you can see that actually the the, the photo that you have right now the other photo the this one, one you had the previously map? yeah with the yeah the map uh this is the playable area and yeah. everything that is it actually nuke yeah it is uh, everything that is darkened is area it's, it's that's not dressing. playable, yeah. but it's actually building the additional like feeling of the of the of the of the facility. Yeah. When you go to the to the one, uh, one to the bottom and one to the left. This one here. Yeah, or? the nuke liquid liquidpedia Counter Strike wiki. Yeah, oh, you this can one. See yeah. The, the the bridge and the river and everything that's, yeah, that's yeah. actually not playable. Of the the forklifts, the other like things. This is this is really inspiring when it comes to designing surface zone, because that's a good map. Like it's visually ple pleasing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It I feels like there's other of, stuff going on other than yeah. just what you're doing. Even yeah. though the playable area is very limited, you have a lot of open air, open space that gives you a really good atmosphere of what's going on. Interesting. That's really cool. So, are you guys gonna? maybe have also like different time of day stuff on surface too like mm, i'm not sure if it's necessary especially since it can vastly affect the balance yeah true true so you, like and, if, and if a if, game lasts if, for 24 hours it make, won't. <laughs> if, if we want to make the the surface zone feel good for weapons then we have the same problem like csgo has visibility issues uh we need to make sure everything is every lighting is controlled and well different times of times of day we, we would need to make sure that every single hour looks good <laughs> yeah yeah that's true actually that's a huge part of game uh sort of game aesthetic is to make sure everything looks good you know even in the smallest tweak so 
then uh, I think this is the real second to last. Or no, I, we already asked the last question. This is the real last bonus meme question. Uh, on the armor system, you guys have it pretty much like how you want it. Uh, you know, you've got the armor vest, and then that's kind of the abstract idea of armor. You don't need to put on a helmet or like gloves or you know, uh, like a ballistic shield, maybe. Do you, do you the plan way on the current armor works is that you have one item which represents the vest and the helmet. Okay. And then you guys right. aren't planning on doing anything crazy with that, like adding a, a riot shield or, or something like that? Mm, not really. I mean, I don't have plans, but it's possible. I'm saying, like, visibility. It's not really my plan. It's not really something I would like in the game. At least I'm not convinced right now that it's necessary. Yeah. But, well, it's possible. Like I said, the, the new code is quite extendable. So, yeah, could it could be a thing. <laughs> interesting interesting that'd be kind of cool like uh oh nine six gets rushed but you know you just get like thrown back 20 feet or something so again instantly killed that'd be kind of fun all right um shit i think that's about it there's some questions uh i mean yeah rocket in chat pistols like you said that they're, they're basically where where everyone uh where they want it to be uh i don't think you guys are planning on adding sniper rifles or anything anytime soon no i mean no sniper rifles would only work for the surface i yeah, do believe yeah. that having the revolver with the heavy setup is good enough of a sniper that's true sniper and um, you have the e11 and ak which can yeah, be kind and of AKs, yeah yeah i mean i don't think there's a need for a dedicated sniper rifle unless we are talking about one hit to the chest in order to kill anyone but that would be that'd be crazy a bit frustrating if, yeah uh, if i'm being honest especially indoors um and well yeah like i said everything is possible though i don't think if something is possible to be added if that's a good gameplay idea yeah yeah like some people are asking 14.99 that's the the gas mask scp yeah. uh you know it, it it could be potentially you guys have the new inventory system which from a back-end perspective makes it a lot easier it clears up the clutter to be able to add new items but moving forward the main the three main pillars are uh will it uh is it resource uh, is it smart resource wise for us to put art and coding at resources into this how much will it change the game from a balanced perspective and then if you're looking at multiple changes you could implement what's the one that like the community would actually care about the most do people care about some tiny tweak or something that could really, you know, that's really pivotal to the cores, to the game's core. Is that about yeah, right? I'm not sure if I understand the question. Oh, well, no, I was just saying, because like a lot of people are asking th things like, uh, you know, adding SCP-1499, which is the gas oh, yeah, mask yeah, yeah. or this or that. And I'm just saying there's like three different things that you guys are looking at now uh, on what, how to move forward on what to, like what to add and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay, cool. I think uh, <laughs> flamethrowers. Okay, yeah, chat's chat's going crazy now. They they want everything in the game. So yeah, when the sex update comes out, flamethrowers, Molotovs, uh, SCP fourteen ninety nine, the vending machine. Uh, they'll be in the the checkpoint zones. They've got the glass, and then the offices. That's where the sex shop will be, right? There'll be someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could you potentially at the beginning of the round instead of spawning as a D boy. You spawn as uh, just a sex shop owner, and then that's how you get key cards from people is exchange them with like the, the three foot dildo melee weapons, which you guys are adding a whole melee system into the game for humans and all that. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. That's uh, that's perfect. Uh, all right, sweet. Thank you very much, Hubert. I think uh, I think that's everything. Pog. <laughs> pog, pog. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think uh, from chat... Everyone wants you to acknowledge them. Sleepy wants you to acknowledge them. Uh, uh, Scrotus calls you his beloved. Uh, and then everyone's kind of just uh, saying you're fucking sexy. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hubert. Take it easy. Have a good night. Chat, tell Hubert yeah, good night you. before he goes. Good night, chat. Bye. <laughs> there we go.